Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Evelyn here as always. And a huge thank you to everyone for continuing to support me. It's quite a windy day today, but really nice weather. So I came outside, why not? This week I decided to share with you a simple Jersey block video, just so it's easy for you guys to locate should you wish to create one. Jersey blocks are great for creating really quick and simple dart free stretch fabric tops. So grab your pattern making supplies and a smile and let's get creating your very own Jersey block. Also check out my roses. To begin, grab your pattern paper, marker pen and ruler together with your sleeve and bodice blocks. I'm using these little mini versions of my blocks today just so that you can see and follow everything on screen. Looking first at our sleeve block, we aren't going to make any changes. Simply trace around your sleeve block and relabel it as your jersey sleeve block. Because we are using stretch fabrics, we are going to dispense with seam allowances to allow for the stretch fabrics to do their thing. Now for our bodice blocks. To create a simple no darted jersey block, we're going to do some dart manipulation to close those darts. Starting with your front block, square lines through the centre of your darts, meeting at your apex point. Cut along those lines almost to the apex point, creating a hinge. Using this hinge, close the side dart like so, pivoting the fullness into the waist dart. Now measure that new enlarged waist dart and plot this measurement on the waistline inwards from the side of your pattern, making a mark. Draw a line from this mark to meet the side of your block pattern, approximately halfway down the side. Cut down this line, removing the dart fullness from your pattern. Grab some spare pattern paper scraps, placing them behind your new pattern to allow you to smooth and true those new pattern lines. Cut it out and there you have it, your front jersey block. Moving on to the back. Square a line from the tip of your dart to the pattern's side. Measure your dart and plot this measurement once again along the waistline inwards from the side, making a mark. From this mark, draw a line upwards to meet your squared line at the side of the pattern. Grabbing your scissors, yes you guessed it, cut along that line, removing the fullness of that waist dart. Take some scrap paper and smooth out those lines. As I always say here on the channel, it's times like these that a curved ruler can prove very useful. And there is your jersey back bodice. And now you have your complete set of jersey blocks. When using these blocks, the only additional allowance you need to make is anywhere you are going to hem the garment. For example, your armholes, neckline and bottom hem. So make sure to add those hem allowances either to your block patterns or like I tend to do when you cut out your garment. 
And if you haven't checked out last week's video yet, make sure you do so because these jersey bodice blocks can create so many different tops, just like these three. block to your own body measurements. You can create so many different tops from these guys and I'll be showing you how to create tops based on these really shortly on the channel, like maybe next week. Like definitely next week. <laughs> My sunglasses are falling down. Anyway, look, I'm going to show you these roses. They're incredible. I'm hoping you can see that. I'm hoping you can hear me. But some of them are actually like starting to threaten to bloom. <gasps> Attacked by dogs. <laughs> Take care, everyone. See you next week. <laughs> Bye.